Hi, this is Linda once again. I'm also known as Miss Preacher on YouTube. Um, I wanted to share a dream that I've had, and uh, it's one I believe that's very important for the body of Christ. And I'd like to start in the word at Luke chapter 21, verse 36, before I share the dream. That word says, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Uh, I believe that word is not only for me, it's in fact a command. Uh, it's uh, being spoken by the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's for all of us to watch and pray because we are in a season where things are getting ready to go down. And we need to be mindful of those things. Uh, in the word, once again, in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25, the word says, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. That seems to be uh, something that the Lord is really moving me to do lately to exhort the body of Christ and, and uh, let them know that, hey, we need to wake up. Uh, we need to really snap to attention here because the day of the Lord's return is approaching. Um, he has placed me in an assembly at this time uh, with Pastor Paul Bagley, and um, he has uh, put me in a position where I really am listening to what he's having to say because that's what my spirit needed to be fed uh, at this time because it lines up with what the uh, Lord is putting in my spirit and causing me to see uh, through dreams and, and through the way that he ministers to me. And uh, Pastor Paul Bagley has uh, a YouTube ministry and he also uh, ministers daily on blog talk, radio, and live stream. Uh, as the Lord allows, occasionally he'll take a call from me and that enables me to share what the Lord has for him and for the body of Christ. And that's what happened on this particular day with this dream um, that the Lord gave me. Uh, but in this dream, it was also something that the Lord wanted to uh, have Pastor Paul interpret for the body of Christ. And so I'm going to include this clip and basically that's what you will hear. Uh, me sharing the dream and uh, later on in this video, you'll also hear Pastor Paul giving the interpretation of that dream the next day on his program. So here we go. And I hope that it will bless you. And I'll come back at the end to close off. Is this Miss Preacher? Hey, how you doing? I am blessed and highly favored. Well, how are you? I'm blessed too. Uh, I, uh, I apologize for driving people crazy in the chat room by posting my message, but I really wanted to get get to uh, speak to you. I sure. think that uh, you may be able to uh, interpret this, and I'll just get into it. Okay. I don't know where I was. I assume I was in America, okay? But I'm just standing someplace, and all of a sudden, I hear this sound, like um, people uh, talking. Then it, it uh, I you know, it really was predominant, and I focused on it, and it sounded like when people speak in tongues. Okay. And I was drawn to that that uh, sound to see, you know, 
you know, who's who's doing this and what's going on? And so um, I saw some people, but none of those people were actually um, praying. Okay. The scene shifted, and I saw this huge American flag just wavering in the sky. It covered the sky. And it was in red, white, and blue. I saw it in color. And it's just fluttering in the sky. Okay. The scene changed. And I saw, uh, like, first a black flag. And it's really odd that uh, that guy showed you the cover of The Economist because at the bottom there's a panda. And not the a whole body of the panda, but the first flag had a black background, but it had a round kind of face. It sort of, it, it, it reminded me of like something that was an alien. It didn't have that egg shape, but then when I saw that panda, just the, the face of the panda, it sort of looked like that, but it wasn't, um, I mean, it was shaped like that, but it was a symbol. Hi. Okay. Then the uh, 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 other flags popped up. All these flags, <clears throat> excuse me, all these flags had back, um, black backgrounds. Okay. Uh, some had like a tannish, how many all white color. How many, I, it, how many flags are talking about? How many black I, It's black three flags. or four that I can remember, but it, it could have been, I just say three or four. But okay. one had a black and green. Uh, the one, uh, another one that had a black uh, background had green, and it's. I think it was like a tan. I can't okay. remember all the colors, but these other flags, every one of them had a black background, and I didn't see anyone that see any flag that looked like ISIS. But right. the first flag, though, gave me the impression that it was aliens. Or and okay. sometimes you know we call people from other countries aliens and you know right. that's not right. literally right. correct or blah blah. Exactly. But you're saying you're saying it looks no, like no, no, I, from another listen, planet like like you're saying aliens not not it's like from another not, country not another planet. Okay, aliens from another country. Right another now, let me say it, let me say it again. The first flag gave me the impression that it was. It looked like um, it looked. It looked like what I would think a, a, a alien from another planet, but I don't think it was relaying that to me. I think it was saying to me foreigners. Okay. You know, because we used now, to, before everything was politically corrected, right. we used to, you know, say alien. Right. But yeah, at any like, rate... Is that flag, that first flag, it's a black flag. Is it the same flag with the pen on it? Yes. Okay, With okay. the round face. The round but face. it wasn't a panda. It, it, Pastor, it wasn't a panda. It just had that round face like a panda, but it was some kind of symbol. Right. And it, and the symbol it reminded me of an alien, but it wasn't an alien. It just it was a symbol. It, I'm just giving you that to show you. That's what it sort of looked like. I got it. But the impression I got was that it was it was talk. It was saying to me it's some a foreign flag, a, a foreign right. flag, an alien flag. Yeah. And so then these other flags popped up and everything. One flag sort of looked like a postage stamp. It was shaped where the uh, all the borders were kind of curved. It was weird. Okay. Yeah. And so then I believe I saw what looked like a stealth plane, but it wasn't like our stealth plane. It was silver, and it was just flying through the air. And then the next thing, and the, the scenes are shifting. It goes from one scene to the next scene to the next scene. And then the last thing I saw was the American flag come up again. But this time it wasn't flying strong in the air. It was kind of flickering in and out. It made me feel as though it was like um, projection where it was get, the signal was weak. Yeah. I, I got I perceived weakness, and one uh, on the right side where the star, where the stripes are, it was it was di a diagonal piece was missing. I, I, so they I, 
that gave it, me the impression that it, something it had been destroyed, something oh. had been hit. And when I, uh, I won't say hit, but like it, we had gone through some kind of trouble. Right. My overall perce- perception, I felt like God was saying, no, but wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. I mean, I missed a really important part. Before I saw the flags, I told you I heard the voice. I heard the voices. Sounded like someone speaking in tongues, but it sounded like more than one person. But when I saw the people, I, the people weren't the ones. I I looked up in the sky, and it was like this scroll, and it was it was bigger than the. I mean, it was so big you couldn't see the ends of it, but these uh, uh, lines of words were scrolling up on this scroll thing, and um. I, I got the uh, the impression that the tongue, whatever, whoever was, and it was just like, it sounded like multiple voices, but they were saying the same thing. I almost think of that scripture where it talks about the Lord sounds like many waters. But right. I got the perception that whoever was talking was reading from the scroll. Now, this, this, these words on the scroll, I could not understand. They weren't in English, but they were like a cursive. It was very, very, mm, you know. Did they, look, did they look Arabic? Did they look No, cursive? sir. No, sir. It didn't look they Arab. Look, Arab. No, sir. But it wasn't in a Egyptian. language I knew. Okay. So it was a, it was a language you'd never seen before. Uh, yes, and, and but the, but I got the perception that the words that were being spoken were the words that was written on this scroll. I and got then it. after that, the scene changed, and that's when I saw the first American flag, and then I the rest it. of the dream goes on. I got it. I got it. I actually, as you spoke, I wrote down what you said, and I put it in scenes the way it came to you. It definitely has. Uh, a serious message in this without question. Let me ask you one question. This is a key point. All right. You see the people. You you hear the sounds of voices. They're not in English. They're almost like a numerous amount of people speaking in tongues. But you, can you, and, and then you see this huge scroll in the heavens that has these words on it that are written in, in a language you've never seen before. And you get the, you get the feeling that the words that you're hearing is the words that are written on the scroll. One question, does the, does the scroll, does the sound of the words, does the spirit you feel in the dream feel good or bad during that moment of the scroll? Do you feel scared? Do you feel amazed? Do you feel frightened? Do you feel blessed? What was your impression spiritually at the scroll? What my impression was, and after thinking about this, I don't know whether it was an angel or the Lord. I, I, I got a feeling it was probably more so an angel. But I feel like a decree was being spoken. Okay. And then right after that, that's when I saw America. Then I saw these different flags. I saw yeah. the plane. And yeah. then I saw America weaken. I feel like...
vision from the Lord. I have no doubt. Okay, that's the dream. And on the very next day, Pastor Bagley uh, came back with the interpretation uh, that he had received from the Lord. And here it goes. So what I'm saying is, Miss Preacher, you're, what God showed you, and I truly believe it was from God, and I agree with the prophetess lady that also confirmed that. And this is the word the Lord has given me. America received the prophetic word from the heavens of the Lord. Mighty America will be wounded by a black flag awakening supported by China. Three or four nations will come together under one new flag to attack America from within and from without. But America will be weakened. The small remnant believers will provide a safety in Jesus Christ. America will be wounded, but will survive. And this is uh, the word that I received from this. Uh, America received it. The, the, the scroll, I mean, the scroll was just that. The mass of the people, the, the sound of the voices, it was a prophetic proclam proclamation, if you will, from the heavens. America, the big flag, would become wounded. The panda, the Lord completely showed me, the panda was representing the nation of China. But China's doing it uh, covertly. They're using, they're going to use the black flag nations. Now, I don't know if that's Islam or not. I have a very strong indication. I believe it is. But they are going to help support it uh, financially, um, just in, in militarily, I guess, with arms. I'm not exactly sure, but they're behind it. They're supporting it. And, these, and there will be a new flag. It's not the ISIS flag. It is a, ISIS right now is doing their role, but it won't be under the ISIS flag. It will be a new flag, one of which three or four nations will come together under one flag. I'm not sure what that means. If they form their own Islamic state, if, they, if it's some United uh, Arab states, or if it's some kind of other deal or some kind of religious deal, I'm not sure. But uh, America, prepare, prepare, prepare. How many, how many words of knowledge? How many prophecies have to come forth? How many times does God have to send out the message? Prepare, 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 prepare. And so there is, and the enemies are within and without. They're from within and without. And I think that this is, this is part of the Illuminati. This is a, a, a part of the Trojan horse effect that's going on. But it's the church. This is an urgent warning, folks. It is the church. It's the remnant. The Lord said the small remnant believers will provide safety in Jesus Christ. So, in other words, it's because of the church that this republic will still stand because of the blood of Christ and the church's faith in Jesus, and the prayers of the saints. Oh, my God. And I'm telling you right now, folks, this is a very prophetic warning. But God will provide. Now, it's no, this isn't time for the weak. This isn't time for the weary. This is the time for the strong. And, and, and let the weak say, I am strong. Beat your plows into swords. Get your, pull yourself up by the bootstraps. Put on the whole armor of God. Prepare yourself, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places. And I want you to call on the name of the Lord and believe God. God's going to supernaturally move in among his people and bless this nation. And I told you the Lord a few months ago, told me that in the year 2016, America would come to a crossroads. Will it be under God or under something else? And it was a major crossroad. And I believe that this vision has something to do with that. I don't know what this decision is. I don't know who makes this decision, but I know how the outcome will work because we will take a wound. We will be wounded. And that's the exact word, wounded. That was just wound. That word was resonating in my spirit, wounded. Oh, I'm telling you right now, folks, we need to pray, and we need to be ready, and we need to walk in the power and the victory we have in Jesus Christ. Can 
and you say amen. Oh, come on, let's let's get ready. He'll make your feet like hind's feet. Let's rise up, prayer warriors. Let's rise up, believers. Let's rise up in unity and faith. Let's rise up in the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of the Lord. And let's be about the Father's business. Let's go out with the great commission. Let's lead the lost to Jesus. Let's break through every chain the devil tries to bind. Let's rip apart of the, of the, 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 the wickedness that's come against every stronghold. Let's tear down every uh, principality and power. And let's rise in the name of Jesus and pray for this nation. It will suffer a wound. But it shall survive only because of a small remnant of believers and their faith in Jesus Christ. Can you say amen? By and through, uh, Jesus' sake, uh, a small remnant of believers will provide safety through Jesus Christ. Wow! Can you say, wow! Can you say amen? Well, it's going to get a little bit crazy. So don't lose. So we'll be wounded, but we'll survive. And this is uh, the word that I received from this. Uh, America received it. The, the, the scroll, I mean, the scroll was just that. The masses of people, the, the sound of the voices, it was a prophetic proclam- proclamation, if you will, from the heavens. America, the big flag, would become wounded. The panda, the Lord completely showed me, the panda was representing the nation of China. But China's doing it uh, covertly. They're using, they're going to use the black flag nations. Now, I don't know if that's Islam or not. I have a very strong indication. I believe it is. But they are going to help support it uh, financially, um, just militarily, I guess, with arms. I'm not exactly sure, but they're behind it. They're supporting it. And these, and there will be a new flag. It's not the ISIS flag. It is a, ISIS right now is doing their role, but it won't be under the ISIS flag. It will be a new flag, one of which three or four nations will come together under one flag. I'm not sure what that means. If they form their own Islamic state, if, they, if it's some United uh, Arab states, or if it's some kind of other deal or some kind of religious deal. I'm not sure. But uh, America, I agree with the prophetess lady that also confirmed that. And this is the word the Lord has given me. America received the prophetic word from the heavens of the Lord. Mighty America will be wounded by a black flag awakening supported by China Three or four nations will come together under one new flag to attack America from within and from without. But America will be weakened. The small remnant believers will provide a safety in Jesus Christ. America will be wounded, but will survive. And this is uh, the word that I received from this. Uh, America received it. The the, the scroll, I mean, the scroll was just that. The masses of people, the the sound of the voices, it was a prophetic proclamation, if you will, from the heavens. Uh, America, the big flag, would become wounded. The panda, the Lord completely showed me, the panda was representing the nation of China, but China's doing it uh, covertly. They're using, they're going to use the black flag nations. This is uh, the word that I received from this. Uh, America received it. The, the, the scroll, I mean, the scroll was just that. The masses of people, the, the sound of the voices, it was a prophetic proclam- proclamation, if you will, from the heavens. America, the big flag, would become wounded. The panda, the Lord completely showed me, the panda was representing the nation of China. But China's doing it uh, covertly. They're using, they're going to use the black flag nations. 
Now, I don't know if that's Islam or not. I have a very strong indication. I believe it is. But they are going to help support it uh, financially, um, just militarily, I guess, with arms. I'm not exactly sure. But they're behind it. They're supporting it. And, these, and there will be a new flag. It's not the ISIS flag. It is a, ISIS right now is doing their role, but it won't be under the ISIS flag. It will be a new flag, one of which three or four nations will come together under one flag. I'm not sure what that means. If they form their own Islamic state, if, they, if it's some United uh, Arab states, or if it's some kind of other deal or some kind of religious deal, I'm not sure. But uh, America, prepare, prepare, prepare. How many, how many words of knowledge? How many- and I'll just get into it. Okay. I don't know where I was. I assume I was in America, okay? But I'm just standing someplace, and all of a sudden I hear this sound, like um, people uh, talking. Then it, it uh, I you know, it really was predominant, and I focused on it, and it sounded like when people speak in tongues. Okay. And I was drawn to that that uh, sound to see, you know, you know who's who's doing this and what's going on. And so um, I saw some people, but none of those people were actually um, praying. Okay. The scene shifted. And I saw this huge American flag just wavering in the sky. It covered the sky. And it was in red, white, and blue. I saw it in color. And it's just fluttering in the sky. Okay. The scene changed. And I saw, uh, like, first a black flag. And it's really odd that uh, that guy showed you the cover of The Economist because at the bottom there's a panda. And not the a whole body of the panda, but the first flag had a black background, but it had a round kind of face. It sort of, it curved. It was weird. Okay, yeah. and so then I believe I saw what looked like a stealth plane, but it wasn't like our stealth plane. It was silver, and it was just flying through the air. And then the next thing, and the the scenes are shifting. It goes from one scene to the next scene to the next scene. And then the last thing I saw was the American flag come up again. But this time it wasn't flying strong in the air. It was kind of flickering in and out. It made me feel as though it was like um, projection where it was get the signal was weak. Yeah. I got a perceived weakness, and one uh, on the right side where the star, where the stripes are, it was it was di- a diagonal piece was missing. I, I want, so they well, gave it, me the impression it, that it, something it had been destroyed, something sure. had been hit, and when I uh, I won't say hit, but like it, we had gone through some kind of trouble, right. my overall perceived perception, I felt like God was saying, no, but wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, I mean, I missed a really important part. Before I saw the flags, I told you I heard the voice. I heard the voices. Sounded like whatever, whoever was, and it was just, it sounded like multiple voices, but they were saying the same thing. I almost think of that scripture where it talks about the Lord sounds like many waters. But right. I got the perception that whoever was talking was reading from the scroll. Now, this, this, these words on the scroll, I could not understand. They weren't in English, but they were like a cursive. It was very, very, mm, you know. Did they, look, did they look Arabic? Did they look No, cursive? sir. No, sir. It didn't look did Arab, look? Arab. No, sir. But it wasn't in a language I knew. Okay, so it was a it was a language you'd never seen before. Uh, yeah, and, and but the, but I got the perception that the words that were being spoken were the words that was written on this scroll. I and got then after that, the scene changed, and that's when I saw the first American flag, and then I the rest it. of the dream goes on. I got it. 
I've got it. I actually, as you spoke, I wrote down what you said, and I put it in scenes the way it came to you. It definitely has a, a serious message in this without question. Let me ask you one question. This is a key point. All right. You see the people. You, you hear the sounds of voices. They're not in English. They're almost like a numerous 